Megan, so how have you been able to manage the seemingly endless toxicity? Megan Markle has experienced horrendous comments in the face of bullies. She revealed that the worst bullying came on social media when she was pregnant with her kids, Archie and Lilibet. The bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing was when I was pregnant with Archie and with Lily. I think we can all say people tend to be a lot tougher behind the keyboard like some of our viewers here at FTD News. Not all of you, but a lot of you. We read the comments, but would you give us the same hate if you saw us on the street? I don't know about that. Megan spoke about the dangers of social media during the breaking barriers shaping narratives how women lead on and off the screen at keynote discussion at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Moderator Aaron Haynes asked, social media really has become the place for women and girls to be scrutinized, objectified, bullied, and unfortunately, I know this is something you are all too familiar with. How have you been able to manage the seemingly endless toxicity that comes at you? Yes, social media is an environment that I think has a lot of that, Megan said. You know, I think it's really interesting as I can reflect on it, I keep my distance from it right now just for my own well-being. But the bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing on social media online when I was pregnant with Archie and Lily and with a newborn with each of them. Royal expert and celebrity gossip magazine journalist Pepe Weintraub is against bullying. When asked his thoughts, he replied, Meghan Markle deserves the world. It's a shame that all of these Americans just continuously make rude remarks about a Canadian superstar. There's a reason why Meghan deserves all the spotlight and she gets it for that exact reason. So wake up and ask yourself, would you say these things to her in person? And if the answer is no, then reevaluate your life choices. When you see someone on a video or in the public eye, you tend to forget that they are human. They have struggles, they have emotions, they have parents who love them, they have family members that they love and lost. Nah, it all goes out the window when there's a screen protecting you. Continuing her views on the downside of social media, Megan said she finds it disturbing how much of the hate is women completely spewing it to other women. Reading something terrible about a woman, why are you sharing it with your friends, Megan asked. That's the piece that's so lost right now. We've forgotten about our humanity, even if it's making dollars, it doesn't make sense. Prince Harry, Megan's husband and the father of their children supported his wife from the front row as she gave the important speech. However, he wasn't the only one who offered his support to the Duchess. Rather, after Megan left the stage, Many of her fans took to social media to praise her for always addressing such essential topics. It was one of the best panel discussions I've heard in a long time. Facts and stats. Loved it. Go Megan. One person wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter. You know I love this woman. Megan Markle sets boundaries and said, no, absolutely not. And she lived. I was so utterly impressed by her and continue to be a second at it. So guys, with that being said, what do you guys think about online bullying? I'm sure there will be some angry commenters, as there usually is. For those of you who appreciate us, we love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video and supporting FTD News. We hope you have a fabulous day.